Download the All-Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. All right, Anthony. Um, I want to start with this, man. They got some new rules. Have you seen these? It's going to go into effect in November. I don't know all of them, but I heard the elbows like 12 to 6, right? Is November. Yeah. That, so that's pretty cool. That is cool, especially someone that likes to uh, grapple and be on top. You know, I mean, it's a it's a phenomenal no. weapon to have. And the other other rule, this one's interesting, is that, you know, if you don't have your knees or elbows on the ground, you're not a grounded opponent anymore. So someone could kick you in the head if you have all four, if you're on oh, all fours, right. hands and feet. So what do you think of these changes, man? I mean, that's cool. That's how it should be anyways, right? I mean, like, <laughs> that, you, that way you're not fucking playing that little line. I get it. Sometimes you get fucking put in a bad position, but that's that's life you know what i mean <laughs> i don't know i liked it. i liked when it was like more savage like old school like the back of the day how it first started you know what i mean they've been kind of like pussifying it a lot uh but no, i can't complain it's good <laughs> it's always like good when you're not the guy on the opposite end though right <laughs> like <laughs> for sure for sure you remember those highlights of like shogun just like soccer kicking people kicking in dudes, pride yeah. <laughs> fucking wild yeah yeah, don't <laughs> go on your back. <laughs> Rule number no. one. Exactly. Yeah, no, that shit is wild. Uh, yeah. Um, man, you're back in action uh, October 19th. You're fighting the day after your birthday. How do you feel about that? No, I'm fucking stoked. Uh, I'm super stoked. Uh, the way I see it is like, fuck, I'm getting older. Uh, time to go make some fucking noise, you know what I mean? I need to go get the belt and make my run now because my, sh- my time is almost coming to an end, you know what I mean? Like thinking of it like i've been doing this shit for like 15 years fighting uh since i was a kid and it's like shit man only like realistically like nine years left of this so that's, that's crazy to me so i need to go show out and just put my head down and go show what the fuck i can do you know what i mean yeah it seems like you know everything lines up pretty nice for you because you know you've you've had some obstacles in the past couple of years but you've been patient man and it, it, the ufc even was patient you know how important is patient thing in, with the ufc yeah, I think uh, being patient is just huge, you know what I mean? It's all about timing and being ready, and, uh, like, it's just a wild game. You never know. Uh, but definitely, patience has been, like, I feel like one of the biggest things for me uh, with injuries and, like, you know what I mean? Like, the way I, I see it is, like, I don't know. I got to train the rest of my life till I'm retired, basically. <laughs> But I'm like a martial artist, you know what I mean? <laughs> do you do you ever like sit back and say like when I'm retired, I'm just gonna let myself go? <laughs> you know, what I mean? nah, just like nah, all the shit nah. I like doing is like active. I mean, I'll probably be fat for sure, but like <laughs> most of the shit I like doing is like active people shit. You know what I mean? I like dirt biking, yeah. I like going out in the woods, and like I like hunting, I like doing shit, and like yeah. you somewhat got to be in shape to do all that shit. So. I think I should be pretty good, you know what I mean? I, just, I think my body won't hurt as bad. <laughs> like, from all the fucking wrestling and getting hit, shit, that shit adds up, you know what I mean? True, true. And, you know, your conditioning is something that, you know, a lot of people look at as something that is just phenomenal, as a huge weapon for yourself. And I, I watch all the videos, man, of you just, like, running in the sand and doing all kinds of, like, just, <laughs> I, I say unique stuff, you know what I mean? Like... It, how has that transformed your style though like combining that all together man uh just going like doing all that agility shit has helped me like be able to cut angles and stuff faster just be aware of my footwork and like my my biggest thing was the awareness right like a lot of the times i would be doing shit and not really be thinking about it so much but now it's like okay now i'm aware of everything and it helps me like put myself in better positions when i'm fighting um that and Lem, like game fit He's super big on like uh, mental shit. Like if you fuck up for one second in the round, he'll restart the whole thing over. So it's like you got to be dialed in. You know what I mean? Um, so that's I feel like that helped a lot in my focus. Um, and I mean, it's just been it's been showing that my cardio and my, my focus is right. And it's I'm on a five fight win streak right now. I'm planning to make it six because I'm very determined to go with this fucking belt. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right, man. That one split second of like fatigue like you saw it on the title fight right ddp you know what i mean i didn't watch it, just like once oh you didn't but if you watch <laughs> no. the finish right if you watch the finish i seen like the, he even seen said finish, uh where he like jumped on him right and took him down i seen that part mm-hmm. uh my wife showed me the highlight but i really haven't like sat and watched anything so <laughs> all right all good. i'm all ears all good. i'm all ears on yeah. that 
Well, he said after the fight that, you know, it was just a split second of him kind of pausing during the fight. And then he locked up the, the choke and it was just, you know, he couldn't get out of it. It was over. You know what I mean? That's that's the game right there. Oh, yeah. It's dead. It's definitely like uh, that's what I've learned is at the highest level is you got to always be ready. Like for that, you take one second off and it's like, oh, fuck. Everyone's so sharp at the, in the UFC level. It's like one little fucking thing. Like you flinch the wrong time, you're gonna get fucking caught. You know what I mean? Like, and that could be the a, a bad night for you, or or a good night. You know what I mean? For sure. And the uh, the opponent that you have coming up, Michelle Pereira. What do you think of uh, his fighting style? Yeah, he's fucking wild. It's hard to guess where he's gonna be. You know what I mean? Uh, he throws a lot of wild shit. Um, but I mean, the way I fight, it's built to beat everyone. You know what I mean? Stay in mm-hmm. your fucking face. If I'm in your face, you can't do really any of the flashy, wild shit, realistically. Um, I'm planning on just going out there and doing what I do every single fight. Um, taking them down, getting them tired, and then trying to finish them. Yeah, I think, you know, with the style that you have, and, and you know, people say, like, I like Pereira, the, the he strikes him, it's like, if you put him on the back foot, he can't do those things. No, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, is, do you see that in this fight? For sure. It's going to be in the smaller cage, so it's going to be a lot of fucking angles and a lot of cutting them off, I feel like. Um, but the last, like, I think it was last two fights, he's, like, went out there, kind of, like, stood in front of the guys and just knocked them out, you know what I mean, at 185. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I really don't know what to expect from him. I'm not going to really, like, go out there and wait for anything to happen or try to, like, look for anything. I'm going to yeah. go out there and fucking fight him, you know what I mean? I'm going to go out there and get in his face and show why I'm ready to keep climbing the rankings. Yeah, you make a good point about his last couple of opponents. They kind of just stood in front of him because they were just waiting for him to do something. Because, he, yeah. like you said, he's a wild guy. He's unique, right? And, yeah, no. you know, if you go in there and force the action, it's a little different style of fight. For sure. No, for sure. You don't allow him to get comfortable, you know what I mean? You let him set in his rhythm. He's a fucking dangerous man. Uh, mm-hmm. You let him fu- figure out his timing and shit, he'll fuck you up. You know what I mean? I don't want to fucking see the next day a highlight of me getting fucked up. So, <laughs> like, go out. Go out there and fucking fight him, you know what I mean? You know, you were supposed to fight uh, Roman Dolaze in June, and you got that hand injury, man. What exactly happened with that? Dude, I fucking... So stupid. I tore the ligaments through my fingers uh, in my hand, so I couldn't punch or I couldn't grab anyone. And uh, Mm -hmm. it took a while. had to get some PRP injections, and now my ligaments are back to normal. And uh, I can punch again and grab and wrestle and do everything. So we're good to go. Um... But, yeah, when I didn't have a fucking hand, I was like, well, this kind of sucks because now I can't punch, now I can't grab. I was like, fuck, man, I wanted that fight so bad, but uh, it just didn't make sense to take it without my fucking main weapon, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, patience, man. Yeah, no, yeah, patience. is That's that's the name of the game, you know what I mean? <laughs> for sure. Um, and this is going to be your first five-round fight for the UFC. Do you feel like your style is like tailor made for a 25 minute fight where you can just like slowly, not even sometimes, not even slowly, but you can just like kind of figure someone out, you know what I mean, with the style? No, for sure. Uh, I usually feel like, honestly, the first fucking 30 seconds, I usually get someone figured out. Um, mm-hmm. And then after that, it's just keep going through those motions, you know what I mean? Uh, for five rounds, it's like, it's a long fucking time. I should know like everything mm-hmm. about the guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, in 25 minutes, but. The goal is not to go 25 minutes because that shit's a fucking long time. You know what I mean? A lot of shit can get fucked up if it goes that long, realistically. So I'm trying to get in there, get out, get paid, and then get right back to it. You know, a lot of people will say, like, fighters are kind of, you know, barbarians and all that. They don't really give too much credit for their intelligence. But you just meant in the first 30 seconds, you're trying to figure somebody out while they're trying to kill you. You know what I mean? That's, like, ultimate pressure on any fighter to figure somebody out. Like, what do you... What are you looking for? What are you, like, like assessing? Uh, just, like, everything, you know what I mean? Uh, where his hands go? What What is his first reaction? Does he, is he like, a, a sheller or does he fucking fire? Like, just looking for those reactions. And then you just plug and play off of that, <laughs> basically. Yeah. What do you think the fans are going to see in this fight coming up against Michelle Pereira? What are your expectations of yourself in this fight? I'm just expecting to go out there and be violent and show the world what I can do and what I've been doing, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Just I'm planning on not being a very nice guy in there, like usual. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> yeah, I, I really don't know what to like say. It's it's hard to say. You know what I mean? I'm planning on just going out there and fucking making a fucking statement. I really am. How many f bombs do you plan on dropping? <laughs> <laughs> I I've been working on that. I've been working on it. Like my kids are like call me out and shit uh and they're like they fucking hold me accountable all the time they're like you gotta fight dad you gotta fight coming up you gotta stop cussing and i'm like all right you're right you're right but it's fucking hard man it's really fucking yeah, hard it is it is especially but like, it's you man no yeah exactly it's like especially after i get punched in the fucking face i'm pissed off and like it's just the fucking roller coaster of emotions you know what i mean i'm happy i just yeah. fuck someone up usually and i'm pissed off i just got hit it's just, yeah. it's chaos, <laughs> but I love it. Maybe it's what I'm here for. Yeah, yeah, man, it's you, man. Don't change, man. I say don't change. If that's what comes out of you naturally, man, that's what you are. You know, you got a lot of guys nowadays playing the game in a way where it's like they're not them, and then you, when you meet them, they're not the guy that you saw on yeah. TV. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? There's a lot of that going on now. For sure. Nah, what you see is what you get with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just try yeah. to be a good human being and fucking be violent when I can. <laughs> A little therapy um, session going. <laughs> uh, you know the the style that you have, right? It's it's grappling heavy. Um, it's it's pressure. It seems like like the division is changing. It's making a shift, right? Because you got Drickus, yeah. who you were supposed to fight at one time in the past. Yeah, going in there and like taking out Whitaker, a striker in many ways. You know, Strickland striker now Adesanya a striker. What do you think of that shift? Um, it's just like uh. It's it's just showing you that you can't be one dimensional anymore. You know what I mean? Everyone's so good everywhere that it's gonna take cardio and fucking like mixing it the fuck up to win at the highest level now. And you, like Duplessis is showing it. He's wrestling. He's doing all these things, and it's working for him. You know what I mean? It just shows you that when you mix it up and you fucking gas people the fuck out and make them work on everything, it just shows you. You know what I mean? That you have to be very well mixed, like well rounded. And how do you think you stack up against Duplessis? Because man, I feel like that's a good fucking matchup. That's a good fucking stylistic fight right there. That would be a very fucking fun fight, man. I, I was looking <laughs> forward to that fight when it was offered to me. Um, I was planning on going out there and making a statement then. Um, I'm sure I will see him very soon. Um, and I'll get to show you guys what I think, how we match up. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not a big talker. I'd rather just go out there and show you guys what the fuck I can do. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, when my chance comes, I plan on showing the fuck out. Uh, a former opponent, Brendan Allen, you know, he got into a fist fight with uh, Marvin right. Vittori in a casino. Shit. Did you see that? I seen that shit. What do you shit think of that? I think, yeah. hey, bro, you talk shit, you get hit. I fucking, I like Brendan. He's a cool ass kid, and I always have conversations yeah. with him here and there. Um, yeah. But hey, he's about his business. You know what I mean? If you talk shit, someone's probably gonna handle that shit. You know what I mean? It's just, that's that's the way we're fighters. I mean, what the fuck do you expect's gonna happen? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's why I don't like the Twitter shit and all this, like, bullshit. Like, I'm the type of guy that if you got yeah. beef, like, what's up? Tell me where to meet you. Yeah. That's just, that's it is what it is. That's how, we, how f most fighters are. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that, like, social media is something that you only kind of do when you're fighting, like, during, like, fight week, especially Twitter, you know? I mean, Twitter's a pretty fucking crazy place, right? You know, I you fucking hate Twitter, bro. I fucking <laughs> suck at spelling, first of all. Like, like <laughs> school and education was not my strong suit. That's why I'm doing this shit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah no. <laughs> it's just Twitter's not my place. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm so happy to see, you know, you getting your opportunity in the first main event, man. I know you were supposed to fight in the sphere, which would have been cool, but it is what it is. You get a main yeah. event, you get a top 15 opponent, it doesn't matter, man. You you get to show out no matter what the stage Dude. is, because it's the UFC, man. People are watching. No, for sure. No, I'm, I'm super stoked. The sphere would have been dope, but like... At the end of the day, none of my friends could have even gone to watch it because it's fucking so goddamn expensive. <laughs> it's like, I'll see you guys after. So, like, at the Apex, it's like, well, it's a little bit cheaper, but True. you know what I mean? I'm like, I'll just meet you guys after. But, no, I'm super <laughs> stoked for the main event. I, want, I wanted, like, the things I wanted was, like, to be in the UFC game. I got that, so I'm fucking super stoked about that. Um, and I wanted a main event so I can have my fucking face on a poster. Um and we got yeah. that, so now it's just keep showing out, and we're just gonna keep fucking shocking the world. You know what I mean? Did you did you get a new contract ahead of this fight? Was that what was going no, on? no? This no. so I think I I do this fight, and that was the fourth fight on the contract, and I think that means I can renegotiate after this one. Oh, okay. So even nice more reason to go show out. You know? What I mean? Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Hey, this is a hell of a match.
it's a hell of a showcase for you october 19th ufc apex man fluffy thank you man so much for always taking the time and uh all the best man every every time i talk to you you're always the same guy and i expect nothing less man appreciate it always an honor man you stay blessed it's a pleasure talking to you